Hello, and welcome back to the ICE doc. This is Tamaris Barons, and here's another lecture on perioperative and critical care transthoracic echo. In today's presentation, we will talk about the MAPC, or the mitral annular plane systolic excursion, how to acquire the view, and how to make the measurements. Let's first define MAPC. MAPC is a method to measure the distance of systolic excursion of the left ventricular annular segment along its longitudinal plane. If the annulus doesn't move as much towards the apex of the heart, that is abnormal. To make measurements, you will need the apical four-chamber view, and I will leave a link in the description if you wish to refresh your memory on how to get this view. Let's talk about some of the advantages and the disadvantages of MAPSI. One of the disadvantages is that it does not account for segmental left ventricular function. Thus, it should not be used to estimate left ventricular function in patients that have regional warm motion abnormalities, fibrosis, conduction disorders, etc. It's also angle dependent, so you need to ensure taking perpendicular measurements when measuring MAPSI. Some of the advantages of MAPSI are that it's less dependent on optimal image quality. It's actually pretty easy to acquire the view, and it's a simple and accurate method to estimate left ventricular function. Here's how you make the measurements. After getting a good apical four-chamber view, you select M mode on your ultrasound. You place the M mode vector right through the annulus, which is right here. And you should be getting an image looking like this. So when you're measuring MAPSI, you want to measure it from the end of diastole to the end of systole. So what you're focusing on is this distance. This table shows you the normal value for MAPSI. A MAPSI of more or equal to 10 millimeters corresponds to an injection fraction of more or equal to 55%. In this patient, we measure the MAPC to be 16 millimeters, so that's more than 10 millimeters. So in this patient, we are estimating the ejection fraction to be more than 55%. And this summarizes the lecture on how to measure the MAPC. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you check out our website, YouTube channel, and follow us on Twitter to stay updated when new videos come out. If you like the lectures, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and share.